Hello, I'm apparently going to start every live with me drinking coffee because that's just how it goes. I'm going to wait a little bit to see if some of you roll in and then we'll get started. Um, if you don't know me already, my name is Ashley. I have the website Big Flavors from a Tiny Kitchen. I'm in Ossining, New York, which is near, um, it's pretty close to New York City. and. This is pretty much my whole kitchen. It's very small. Um, I usually live stream on Friday mornings at 10 a.m. Eastern, but hi, Rob. Um, it was a little nutty last week with Thanksgiving, my son's birthday, um, and a couple shipping issues. Let me know if you can hear me. I got a new little microphone, so the sound should be better than it's been in the past, like just from my laptop. Um, so you can find me online, bigflavorstinykitchen.com. I'm on social media at Big Flavors. Twitter is at Big Flavors Blog. Um, can, is the sound all right, guys? Um, today I'm giving some of my recommendations for a gift guide for um, people who like food and beverages in your life. Sounds great, awesome. Um, so I have some stuff over here if you want like a sneak peek of what I'll be talking about. I do have gift guides from previous years also on my website. Um, and if you have any requests for things that you are looking for a recommendation for, you can pop them in the chat or message me online later. Um, I'm happy to recommend if I have anything that I like. Hi, Sharon. Um, speaking of Sharon, because she was at my event yesterday, thank you so much to everybody who came to the pop-up Friendsgiving potluck brunch that we had at First Village Coffee here in Austin yesterday. We ended up raising over $100 for the Austin Food Pantry. Um, so I'm going to be bringing that and the couple canned and dried good donations um, to them this week. And really exciting. So many people showed up. They brought tons of really delicious food. A couple local restaurants donated some food to um, it was so much fun. My kid had a blast um, with Sharon's kid, too. We, we played cards. We met new neighbors. It was a lot of fun so um, and a lot of delicious food. Um, I'm going to get started just because I don't want to wait too, too long. But like I said, if you have any questions, drop them in the chat. And I will pair this with a written post in the next, hopefully, day or two. On my website I left a link to the event page which um, on my website which will show you like all of the uh, links to all the things that I talk about today if you want to buy them so first up since I'm already having coffee I want to talk to you about this yellow cup coffee roasters this is a coffee company that was started by somebody who works with my brother um, who used to live in Fort Wayne Indiana which is where I grew up and this guy, Mitch, started roasting coffee. Um, you know, he's got his story on the back of the bags. And, you know, I fell in love with a cup before I fell in love with coffee. Uh, fresh out of college into my first office, nine to five, coffee was simply a mechanism for caffeine delivery, a vessel requiring sweeteners or dairy products in order to be palatable. I stumbled upon the perfect cup of coffee in a thrift store, sorry, the perfect coffee cup in a thrift store on my lunch break, and now almost two decades later, I still drink from it every day. So what he does is he roasts his own small batch coffee. Um, he's the only um, he's the only independent roaster in Fort Wayne that doesn't have a coffee shop. And he roasts um, small batch, so it's less than two pounds per roast. Um, he uses fully biodegradable bags that you can compost with at home. He ethically sources the beans. He's very environmentally sub sustainable and you can buy individual bags or he now, hi Jennifer, he now has a monthly subscription so you can get either um, eight ounces, one pound, two pounds, three pounds, four pounds, or five pounds delivered every month. You can either do an ongoing monthly subscription or you can do um, just a certain number. So like if you wanted to get it as a gift for somebody and you wanted to give them like three months worth of coffee, you can pick how often or how long you want the subscription to last. So if you do eight ounces of the subscription, it's $9 a month and up to five pounds is $69 a month plus tax. His beans are awesome. It's 
this one's called the Hizzle. It's the house um, blend. He's got a couple different types. The tasting notes on this one are tart apple, cherry, toffee, chocolate, Guatemala, and it's from Guatemala, Nicaragua, and Mexico. And again, he roasts um, a very small batch out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. It's really, really great. Some of the local businesses there have started carrying his coffee and cold brew. Um, so the next time I'm there visiting my family, I'm going to look for it like in the wild because I think that'll be kind of cool. Um, customer service is awesome. They also have on their website, they have a bunch of like coffee accessories. If you want to have stuff at home to do pour overs or something like that, you can get that on there too. Um, and you can, if you sign up for a subscription and you want to cancel it, you can cancel it, no problem. Um, he's awesome. I highly recommend, uh, you know, I'm drinking coffee every time we're on here. So I'm a fan. The stuff is delicious. Highly recommend it. And it's nice to support kind of like a smaller independent um, roaster. So that is my first recommendation. And then once you're off of caffeine onto happy hour, of the best Bloody Mary mixes. So these are from Back, po Back Pocket Provisions. So there's Bloody Brilliant. This is the, um, says, uh, this is the be our best rendition of the classic Bloody Mary. Fresh juice from locally grown tomatoes, spicy horseradish, and Worcestershire sauce. So this is one flavor that they have. They also have Bloody Bangkok. And like, I'm a graphic designer, so I love the label designs. Um, this one says, add Southeast Asian flavors to your Bloody Mary with this blend of fresh tomato, Thai chili, lemongrass, and fish sauce. So they say it's like an Eats Meets West type of thing. And then Bloody Baja, um, fresh local tomatoes, sweet corn, and green chilies. So this is add Southwest flavor to your Bloody Mary with this blend of fresh tomato juice, Certified organic sweet corn, jalapenos, and smoky spices. So my friend Jen and her brother started this company in Virginia um, a couple years ago. The first time I tried it, I was like, holy moly, right out of the bottle. They're so good. It comes with cards that will tell you what to add to them. But if you go on their Instagram, which is Back Pocket Provisions, they have um, different ideas for things you can do aside from just a standard – Bloody Mary, but like this just the Bloody Brilliant, just a straight up Bloody Mary is the most delicious Bloody Mary you'll ever have. Um, they work with local farmers all over Virginia and they spend the whole summer getting fresh tomato juice from all of these farms. Um, so it's like really ripe tomatoes. It doesn't taste like ketchupy or um, tomato pasty, which some of the other um, bottled mixes kind of do. So the quality of these is incredible. You can have so much fun with the different garnishes. And they always they put other types of ideas for um, how to mix them up on their Instagram. Um, so like there was a Mezcal Mary um, spin they had for Halloween. They did a basil and pumpkin infused vodka with one of these. Um, and one, they served it out of a pumpkin. Um, so they have a lot of different ideas for that. You can use them like as an ingredient in cooking. They have, so there's two sizes. These are the 16 ounce bottles. So each of these makes three to four Bloody Marys. And then they also have a 32 ounce jar that each makes six to eight. And I did a Bloody Mary bar for some friends for brunch one day and I had each of the options. They loved it. It was so much fun. We had lots of different garnishes. Um, the pricing for these three pack of 16 ounce bottles is $30. A three pack of the 32 ounce bottles is $45 and they gave me a promo code for you guys if you want to order if you're interested and like I said if you like Bloody Mary's this is gonna like rock your world you have it's so good um, and you could even have them virgin you don't need to put alcohol in them like if you want like if your kids are into fancy drinks garnish it up don't add any vodka or anything and it'll be a fun drink for them too um, so the promo code is 15% off of any purchase today through Sunday, December 2nd. If you go on their website and you enter Big Flavors as a promo code, you get 15% off. Um, yeah, they're ridiculously good. And I'm probably going to be um, doing some work with them later on some fun uh, new cocktails um, and recipes. So stay tuned for that in the coming months. Um, so 
these are the bloody Bangkok one I feel like is so different it actually has fish sauce in it which sounds insane but the flavor is just incredible and it'll tell you like if you want to make the bloody Bangkok it says you mix four ounces of this with one and a half ounces of vodka a splash of lime juice and a Collins glass serve over ice with a garnish with a scallion and lime um, it's really fun then the Baja one you mix um, you mix this with vodka a splash of lime juice over ice garnish with lime and pickled jalapenos um, this one is like the corn I love, I grew up in Indiana, so I love sweet corn, and this is like a really, really good um, option. I actually have a post on my website from a few years ago when I first bought these, and I make a note to share that, um, that I did. I posted some of my Bloody Mary bar pictures. They also have suggestions for like batch cocktails, which is great around the holidays if you're doing holiday parties or entertaining. Um, just really, really good, especially if you're a tomato lover. And on their website, it says, um, each of our flavors is complex enough for the pickiest bartender and a mix that's simple enough for anyone to use, even with a hangover, <laughs> which I think is pretty funny. And then on their website, they have a list of farms that they work with. And you can see where the farms are located and get a little background info on each farm, which is like a kind of nice way to learn a little bit more about you know the local farms that you're local to them that you're supporting and just kind of get to know your ingredients which is always a little more fun um so that is bloody mary mixes from back pocket provisions their website is backpocketprovisions.com okay um next up okay this is something that i got years ago for my son and i have been buying them for other people for gifts for years for their kids um it's from an etsy shop so this is keep in mind this one is like four years old probably so this is a little apron this one's for my son so itty bitty um this one's an etsy shop called first crush and i didn't i didn't put that there um first crush designs and they make these embroidered aprons for kids they also do chef hats and they do like burp cloths and things like that. But so it's first, first crush designs on Etsy. You can choose the color of your apron and an initial for the fabric. You get to pick a color of embroidery um, for the name. And she's got I wrote down, 92 different fabric options. So like this one I picked for my son, I picked whales. I got it for him when he was like, I think in 2014. So at the beginning of the year, so he was really little. And he wasn't into like cars or anything yet so they have lots of fun options um, she's got 12 different fonts for embroidery um, the aprons the, the colors she offers now and they have pockets now like this was back before she had pockets on the base but she offers blue gray red pink and white and um, the this style is $20 as of right now She's got a style with like ruffles on the bottom, um, a little more girly. They're 22 and then she has chef's hats that are $12 that you can get the name embroidered on. And she's got bundles that have like a hat and an apron that you can pair together. Um, she, she says they're one size fits most ages two to six and beyond. My son still wears it occasionally. He just turned seven, so it's still a good thing. Hey Ryan, what's up? Um, you missed the Bloody Marys, Ryan, because I used, to, what was the place in Wisconsin that we used to go, Dockside? And they had like giant Bloody Marys and it was the first time I ever saw those. Um, anyway, so I've been ordering these since 2014. I've probably ordered half a dozen from her. I have another one on order. I hope that friend isn't watching right now because I don't want her to <laughs> get the surprise ruined. But it's a really cute gift for your kid if that's something that you're interested in. Um, and again, I'll link to her site later. She says it's great for arts and crafts too. So if your kid's not into cooking, they might be into that for just keeping them clean during whatever else you're doing. So next up, do I spy a sprouter? Yes, you do. Um, next up, cookbook recommendation, The Dude Diet by Serena Wolf. 
I talked about this when I did the um, National Cookbook Month takeover on the Austining Library website. I mean, Instagram account. Right now, this is $17 on Amazon. Um, it's already on my list, but again, I'll add links later too. So this book, it's called Clean-ish Foods for People Who Like to Eat Dirty. And like, the photography is ridiculous. I have actually cooked several dishes out of here and everything has been phenomenal. My whole family loved it. Um, it's got 125 delicious yet deceptively healthy recipes for dudes and the people who love them. And it's not like the um, sneak spinach into a muffin type of like healthier. It's just, um, it's just like lightening things up but still making them good. For instance, Epic Meatloaf. I made, this was the first recipe I made from hers, from her cookbook. Where is the picture? Here's the picture of it. So she, this meatloaf, instead of just being beef, it's a mix of quinoa, which sounds crazy, but it adds a really nice fluffy texture, and also ground turkey and ground beef. And then it's got some sauteed veggies in it. And she has you serve it over um, cauliflower puree with Parmesan and chives. And it's really, really tasty. My whole family loved it. Um, she also has this was so good. This is called Magic Rotisserie Chicken. So it tastes like when you get a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store or from a like one of the Peruvian restaurants or something, if you have any of those near you. It just like falls off the bone. You cook it at 300 for oh, two to three hours. So it takes a while, but um, you can just throw it in. It's very low maintenance once it's in. You don't really have to do anything to it. That was delicious. I'm also curious about, let's see. I'm curious about, I used to eat a lot of Taco Bell as a kid. I'm curious about these Taco Bell style beef tacos because I think this was one of the first um, recipes that, that drew me to this. It said, um, on her first day private chefing for one of her NFL players, she sat down to chat about his diet and food preferences, and she <laughs> said, I hear you're on a pretty strict diet. And he was like, no, I'm just trying to eat less Taco Bell. So she made this as a way to like let him still eat Taco Bell without actually eating Taco Bell. Um, so these recipes are, they're lightened up, but they're not crazy, like, it's not all kale and stuff, but it's a really fun one. Um, the two dudes in my house approve very much so. She's a chef, a food blogger, and um, she says caretaker of a dude with some less than ideal eating habits. And so she created healthier versions of her now husband's favorite foods, and that's what this cookbook is. And she's also working on the dude diet too. I think it's coming out next year. Um, but it's a really good, it's a solid cookbook. There's all the different courses in here. I want to try this Parmesan Ranch stovetop popcorn. She's got cocktails. Um, and again, everything just looks really pretty and everything I've tried has been delicious. So definitely recommend this cookbook. Um, this is my next recommendation. If you saw the post that I did um, a couple months ago with Mountain Rose Herbs, you'll recognize this is a sprouting canister kit. So I feel like especially in the winter, there's kind of a lack of fresh leafy green things um, around. And it's really fun with kids. So all you do, this is um, a little stackable kit. And I have a whole post on my site to like walk you through how to actually use this. Each of the layers that you put the seeds on has this little um, spout that drains to the layer below. So what you do is you have a base, you line up your three, well you can use one, two, or three. You can do like three different types of sprouts at the same time. And you just wanna make sure that you don't put the drains right on top of each other, to kind of space them out a little bit. And you sprinkle some seeds, like a tablespoon of seeds on each level. You fill with water. It drains from the top to the middle to the bottom and then down at the end. And you can use the water that drains out on your house plants or whatever. Um, and then you just put the lid on it. You water it twice a day, like when you wake up and before bed. And that's it. You 
so I set it near a window. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It's only six inches tall and seven and a half or seven and three quarters inches wide. Um, and their website, um, Mountain Rose Herbs, has a ton of different sprouting options. I mean, for sprouting seeds because you can't put regular seeds in here and expect them to sprout well. And within like three days, you'll have some pretty nice sprouts. So I've done like radish sprouts, alfalfa sprouts, um, daikon, what kind of seeds? Uh, there's all sorts. Um, they have a lot of different options on their website. They also have blends. So they'll have like a spicy mix that'll have a couple different types of sprouts in it. My son really likes broccoli sprouts. They're really fine. Um, it's just nice to add in sandwiches on top of salads. Um, I sometimes just put like a little one section of my son's lunchbox with some sprouts. He really likes them. Um, they're nice to add to. I can't find sprouts for sandwiches anymore. Totally going. Yeah, this, um, it's so much cheaper because like for me, if I go to Whole Foods or Mrs. Green's and I want to buy um, a package of already grown sprouts, they're pretty expensive and you can get, um, let's see, I think I wrote down, they have on their different types of seeds, they have sprouting seeds whether you get them from this company or not, you want to make sure you're getting sprouting seeds because they're um, specifically, they sprout more than a regular seed. You'll only get like maybe half of them will sprout. So you can order one ounce, four ounce, eight ounce, or one, pag, one pound bag of sprouting seeds. And again, they have a ton of different types. Um, and you're only using a tablespoon at a time. I have a bunch of little bags of sprouting seeds. I think the one ounce size which are surprisingly large, and I still, I've sprouted probably 10 times per layer. So like, it's, it's been a lot. Um, I'm actually gonna probably plant some more today. Plant. It's really low maintenance, but my son can even do it because we would just take it while the sprouts are here and bring it over here, and you just like add some water. You add it almost to the top. I guess I can show you. Um, not that there's seeds in here right now, but So you just fill it like almost to the top with mildly like room temperature water. If it's the summer, you want to do a little bit cooler water. Um, and so this will just slowly, it'll go down this red spout to this level. It'll water these seeds. It'll go down that red spout to this level. And eventually it'll end up on the bottom. It's also like a pretty cute kind of science experiment with your kids. So, and again, I have a whole tutorial on my website. If you are looking to sprout and you, you know, want some more directions and I have jump links so you can go just to the section because I talked about doing it with the sprouting like a vertical kit which ended up being my favorite it was the most low maintenance um, but there's also a bag or there's a screen you can put on a mason jar so there's a couple different types um, I haven't sprouted herbs Sharon I'm not sure um, how that goes um, all right next up is Stasher bags. This is kind of a random one, but I think it would be really nice in a stocking, like stocking stuffer. Um, there's another size too. That's like a. Let's see. What exactly? It's a um, half gallon, but it's in my freezer full of like vegetable trimmings right now. So these are silicone bags that are resealable, uh, reusable. And there, you can cook, bake, boil, and freeze. You can go up to 400 degrees in these. So you can put veggies in here and just like pop it in the oven or boil it or steam. Um, you can microwave them. You can, if you do sous vide cooking, you can put stuff in here um, and you submerge it in water, leave a couple inches at the top, and you just kind of push to get the extra air out and seal it up, and you can cook sous vide in these. They are made of 100% pure platinum grade silicone, so it's higher than food grade. I think it's a medical grade, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's safer, more flexible, and sustainable than plastic. Um, there's no BPA, BPS, lead, latex, or phthalates. And it's a non-porous silicone that helps inhibit bacterial growth, mold, and germs. You can put it on the top rack of the dishwasher. I usually wash them by hand. You just don't want to turn them inside out because they have like a really good um, corner seal here and you don't want to mess that up. Hi Tina! Right, stashes are so great. So they come in a bunch of different colors. I have a bigger white um, half gallon size. Um, these are sandwich size. This is a snack size 
And these three I got as part of, they called it a booby bundle. It was for um, breast cancer research. They donated some of the money to that. They do a lot of promos like that. They're um, really trying to change how much plastic people are using. They have a lot of different color options. They have bundles on their website so you can get like, I think there's one, and actually this, this one might have come with also the um, half gallon with these also. Um, without a sale, they typically run $9.99 for the snack size, which is 9.9 .9 ounces, and then $11.99 for a sandwich size, and then the um, which is 15 ounces, and then the half gallon, oh, I did not write, oh, 1999 for that size. So I, if I'm going somewhere, like we were in New York City the other day, um, and I wanted to bring some snacks on the train, so I popped, like, I popped some food in here. I did one of these little, I, I used these little, like, spork things, and then when I was done, I just, like, sealed it up in here, and then I didn't have any waste, and it wasn't heavy, because I know some of the, like, I have lunch boxes, but they're heavy, and I don't always want to tote them around. There is a promo code right now. Um, it's not my promo code, but their mailing list um, on st at stasherbag.com. They send out promo codes all the time, and the one this morning, 25% off today, the code is holiday stash. Um, I'm not getting a kickback from that, but that's their code. And... Just FYI, all these things are things that I have bought. A couple of them sent me um, more just so that I could do this. So thank you to those who did that. But these are all things that I've bought and I like fully endorse, recommend, love. Um, I don't share. <laughs> I get plenty of requests for me to share things on my site or on here that I don't because I don't use them. I don't like them. I don't agree with things about them. Hi, Maria. My son took this quart size to school today. He packs his snacks and that's awesome. I I don't trust my son to take them to school yet because um, he lost a couple of our other reusable snack bags last year. He's been doing good this year, but I just, I don't want him to lose something that costs like $10 plus. So maybe when he's a little older, but um, yeah, they're great. They're really versatile. Um, apparently if you keep fresh herbs in them, they stay fresh for a really long time. Um, I have these, um, if you don't go through their website, which you should today, if you buy them today, because they have that promo going on, but I do have some in my, um, Amazon shop if you want to look at different patterns and stuff. So they have lots of good sizes, lots of good bundles. Um, I'm going to try cooking sous vide in them soon. I haven't yet. And then my last thing, only because I get so many questions about them, still, this was on my gift guide last year, but is the Instant Pot. I named mine Tina because um, I'm weird like that. But um, this has been by far the most used, aside from my coffee maker because I drink a lot of coffee, but most used appliance in my kitchen. Well, and I guess we're not talking about like my stove, but. Um, so the one I have is the six quart, seven and one. It's got 14 smart programs. So like there's a soup button, a meat and stew button, a bean and chili button, poultry, slow cook, saute, um, rice, multigrain porridge, steam, yogurt. Yes, you can make yogurt in it. I have done it once, but um, not since. Um, so you can do manual modes. So what I like, if you don't know what the Instant Pot is, it is a slow cooker, a pressure cooker, a rice cooker, and a lot more. But the best thing I think about it is that you can, it's just, um, these are just the items that, that came with it that I store inside. Um, you can sear right in here. So you have this in here, you can heat oil in it, you can hit saute, and you can pick between low, normal, or more, so like low, medium, and high. You can sear something like a pot roast, um, chicken thighs, Sear it in here, then add some liquid, and then you close it, and you can pressure cook it, or you can slow cook it. Um, and it happens so much quicker if you're using the pressure cook method than in the oven, on the stovetop. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of different things you can do. You can cook pasta in here. I have several recipes on my website for things that you can cook in this. There's a ton on the internet. Um, I cook rice in it a lot. I just, 
use the little cup that came with it and then on the inside of the base there's little numbers so there's cups and liters um, the very first time I used it to make rice I switched because my old rice cooker was on the other side for cups and I made kind of like kanji which ended up being okay but it was not what I was going for um, but and a lot of people I haven't tried this yet do what they call pot in pot so they'll cook something on the bottom they'll put like a trivet or a steamer basket on top and another dish on top of there and they'll cook two things at the same time which is just like like I I haven't tried it yet but um, the, the link to this is already in my Amazon shop if you go it's um the very top right corner of my of big flavors tiny kitchen.com there's a um, link for Amazon or amazon.com slash shop slash big flavors and you can find it there today I checked the price today and it was um, $69.95 which is a really good deal I think um, it's probably not as good as whatever the Black Friday deal was but ugh, Black Friday <laughs> weirds me out um, normally it's $99.95 for this size there's also a three quart or an eight quart size and they have a smart Wi-Fi version that you can program with your phone I thought it was overkill I don't know anybody who has it and loves it any more than this so um, that's where I stand with that I but this is I mean I make rice in it all the time I do um, you can really easily make chicken that you shred for tacos um, I made my cranberry sauce in here I made mashed potatoes in here both for Thanksgiving I'll be making mashed potatoes on Friday for um, a friend's giving party at a friend's house and I'm gonna do that live on Friday morning if you guys are interested in seeing how that's done but yeah so those are my suggestions the new ones for this year hi Dino my husband never uses Facebook um, so those are my suggestions for this year if you have anything that you're looking to buy and you would like a recommendation let me know like if you want knife recommendations or you know anything else I, I have a lot of non food and kitchen recommendations also but I will save them for <laughs> if somebody asks me um, one thing being actually if you if you have an outlet in your kitchen that you can dedicate to a Sonos it's um, it's like a speaker and you can push music you can use your phone or your computer as the um, to select songs either from your hard drive from your phone from Spotify and you can have like the music is it's so great so we have one in our kitchen and we have two upstairs um, in our bedrooms and then we have one in the living room so you can actually have music synced through the whole house at the same time you can walk from room to room and it's seamless um, music I like listening to music while I cook um, and or you can have different things going in each room it's kind of nice um, yeah but that's not a, not technically a food thing but that is also in my um in my Amazon shop if it's of interest to you so thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you Friday if you care to watch instant pot mashed potatoes they're super fluffy and delicious so um, bye everyone <laughs>